हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेटर्स नाउ लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द कंसिक्वेंसेस ऑफ एथिरोस्क्लिरोसिस सो इन द कंसिक्वेंसेस ऑफ एथिरोस्क्लिरोसिस द एथिरोस्क्लिरोसिस मेनली इंक्लूड्स द लार्ज आर्टरीज लाइक इट इंक्लूड्स द लार्ज आर्टरीज लाइक आयोटा और इट इंक्लूड्स द कैरोटिड आर्टरी और इट इंक्लूड्स द इलियाक आर्टरीज which are actually log large arteries whereas it can also include the medium sized arteries like coronary arteries of the heart or popliteal arteries so based on the arteries which involve which it involves the diseases will vary if it involves the heart it can that is the coronary arteries it can lead to myocardial infarction if it involves any type of cerebral arteries okay it can cause stroke that is carotid artery or even smaller anterior cerebral artery posterior cerebral artery it can cause stroke involvement of uh, iota can result in aortic aneurysms can occur involvement of popliteal arteries or any peripheral arteries can cause peripheral vascular diseases so all these are the major consequences of the atherosclerosis so one more important thing that can occur there are some other important things which occur one there can be formation of atherosclerotic stenosis that is if there are smaller arteries just think of this as a smaller artery if there is atherosclerosis of smaller arteries so as the atherosclerotic plaque grows uh, this will compromise the blood flow of the artery in the early stages and later it might completely cross uh, obstruct the vessels right so in this we have a sent we have a term called as critical stenosis critical stenosis is a stage where the occlusion is severe enough for, to produce tissue ischemia if the occlusion produces tissue ischemia then we call it as critical stenosis and this critical stenosis uh, for 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 any for any atherosclerotic part plaque to become critical stenosis it should occupy at least 70% of the luminal cross sectional area it should decrease the luminal cross sectional area for blood flow then this then the other consequence which can occur is acute plaque rupture the plaque can also rupture this is actually the most dangerous consequence is acute plaque rupture and atherosclerosis also takes a toll through chronically diminished arterial perfusion like sometimes it can also occlude the bowel mean mesenteric arteries leading to mesenteric arteries leading to bowel ischemia it can also cause sudden ischemic death or chronic heart disease or it can cause ischemic encephalopathy when it occludes the brain then um there can be acute plaque change in the acute plaque change here the plaque can one it can rupture okay and it can undergo erosion if it undergoes erosion or ulceration it can lead to the uh, it it can be a site for thrombogenic plaque formation or thrombus formation and finally there can be development of hemorrhage into the atheroma thus expanding its volume so if you see these plaques are actually responsible for myocardial infarction when the plaques rupture they are not able to stand the mechanical stresses and as a result they will um lead to they will trigger thrombosis okay and this thrombosis can e even more obstruct the vessel or it can even uh, go to the different uh, or this thrombus can even um uh, you know this can even pinch off from the uh, from its main part and it can also undergo embolism okay sometimes all these can also cause vasoconstriction whenever this causes vasoconstriction of the lumen even this will obstruct the arteries this vasoconstriction can be due to the adrenergic agonists or some endothelial uh, derived um, you know contracting factors like endothelin or it can be due to the inflammatory um, 
mediators which are released all these can also cause vasoconstriction which will again favor the obstruction of the lumen then if you see we in in this plaque here in the collagen in this atherosclerosis one important thing is collagen this collagen is actually the most important component of the fibrous cap which is present in atherosclerotic plaque the balance of collagen synthesis versus collagen degradation is very important this collagen is actually produced primarily by smooth muscle cells okay it is produced by smooth muscle cells so if this collagen will actually make the smooth muscle cells to bind to each other very well but this collagen turnover is mainly controlled by some enzymes called as matrix metalloproteinases these enzymes are largely elaborated by macrophages and smooth muscle cells in the atheromatous plaques okay and there are some other enzymes which are called as tissue inhibitors of matrix metalloproteinases these will inhibit the matrix protein metalloproteinases these tissue inhibitors of matrix metalloproteinases are produced by endothelial cells or smooth muscles and macrophages so as a result this matrix metalloproteinases will control the a collagen activity whereas matrix metalloproteinase activity is controlled by tissue inhibitors of matrix metalloproteinases so as a result in a plaque inflammation the net increase in collagen degradation or reduce in collagen synthesis thus stabilizing the fibrous cap which is there is all this is done by matrix metalloproteinases so this is about the consequences of atherosclerosis thank you for watching